before we receive the tithes and offerings. Can I see a hand of visitors? Okay. Let's stand the two gentlemen in the back there. I can barely see you. There we go. What's your first name? Amari. Amari? Benazi. Couldn't hear. Couldn't hear it. Benazi. Okay. Couldn't quite get that, but. Benazi. Benazi. All right. Okay. Stay Benazi. standing. Benazi. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> Mari, I hear the Lord say that God's going to open up some doors for you in the near future and not just one door but they're going to be doors that God is going to open for you and the Lord says there'll be an inner witness of the spirit that although it may look a little unusual to you even a little strange that the Lord himself is leading you and the Lord says as you, as you go through these doors that you are going to be taken into some new things by the Lord he is going to give you revelation he is going to give you words to speak he's going to ignite some dormant giftings in you and the Lord says, for I am preparing you, son, to be a blessing to many people. And the Lord says, now is the time of equipping you to do what you've been called to do, says the Spirit of God. And the Lord says, this is a time for purity. This is a time for drawing close to the Lord. And the Lord says, don't pursue gifts, but pursue intimacy with the Lord. And in the process of pursuing intimacy, the Lord says the gifts are going to come. And he's going to bring you to people who are going to lay hands on you. And there's going to be impartation. And the Lord says he's going to cause your life to veer off into a direction that may be surprising to you. But you're going to have the witness that it is the Lord leading you. So the Lord says this is the day to rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. For surely the Lord has good things ahead for you. Mm -hmm. This is for both of you. This is for both of you and for those watching by Ustream. You know, if your heart is open to bless someone prophetically, then you can receive the same word oftentimes. God will say, and yeah, and that's good for you too. It's all a condition of the heart. Not, why are they getting a word and I'm not getting a word. That one, You don't get blessed that way. All right? All right. But this word is for both of you. I just see that where God is basically saying that there's been some shifts relationally in your life. And he says, this is not a coincidence. This is for your good. It is not going to harm you. It's going to help you. It, there, there's a period of confusion. He says, don't acknowledge the confusion, but acknowledge me and let the peace of God rule. And I will direct your steps. And I'm bringing relationships in alongside to mentor both of you are going to be see uh, mentoring opportunities. This is not to rob you of your identity, nor is it going to rob you of your individuality, but it's going to be for your safety and for wisdom that God is going to do it in the days ahead. This, uh, this family right here, do the whole family, Jennifer. I hear the Lord say that he's going to do something within the context of your family. The Lord says, establish a family altar, the Lord says. Wait as a family upon the presence of God, because the Lord says, this is the time I'm beginning to restore families and bring them back into the original pattern, says the Lord. And the Lord says, as you did this, the Lord says, I am going to visit you. I am going to come in your midst. And the Lord says, I'll begin to give all of you revelation. The Lord is going to reveal himself to you in a very special way. And the Lord says, as you wait upon me, know that I'm leading you into the next thing that God is doing on the face of the earth. And the Lord says that he has his hand upon these children. And the Lord says, let the little children come to me, says Jesus, because the Lord says, I'm going to put my spirit upon these children. And there will even be times when the children shall lead their elders, says the spirit of God. And the Lord says, prophecy, revelation, visitations in the spirit. And the Lord says, dad, in days ahead, you're going to be amazed at the wisdom that's going to come out of these two children because the Lord says, surely my spirit rests upon them. And in days past, the Lord's saying that uh, a independent spirit can very often negate the word that I have for you. And God is saying, I'm going to purposely use these children to speak to areas of your heart. 
so that bonding takes place at a level that is exceedingly abundantly above all that you ever ask or think. And in that bonding, you prove yourself faithful. God says, I'm going to add a blessing and I'm going to multiply it a hundredfold the things that have been stored for you. Things that you've looked forward in the future and they seem not to come to pass. God says, I'm going to multiply it. But there is, there is going to be the step of, of being childlike and uh, actually diminishing some of the independence, which is a sign of, of growing free. But God says, I'm going to release at this time and in this season a need for bonding. And in that bonding, you're going to find the blessing. The blessing is in the cluster. And God's saying, I'm at this point of clustering you with like people of like precious faith, so that in that bonding, the blessing's going to come. And again, it's going to be multiplied. And what is your name? Doris. 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 Doris, I hear the Lord say that at times you felt like you were wandering. At times you have felt like you really understood what the children of Israel felt like in that desert day after day after day where nothing changed. The terrain didn't change. You'd go from one place and it might be another patch of sand where a few more scrubby bushes. And the Lord says it all began to look alike and blend together. The Lord says, daughter, this is your time. I'm going to bring you in the near future out of that place of the wilderness. And the Lord says, I'm going to cause water to spring up even in the desert and rivers to flow the lord says i have good things ahead for you because daughter you have proved yourself faithful in the wilderness and now the lord says there's a wide open door that i'm setting before you and you're going to as it were cross over into a promised land that i have for you and you will no longer no lack but the lord says i'm bringing you into a place of fulfillment a place of abundance a place of spiritual blessing and material blessing says the spirit of god and the lord says pay attention follow the peace follow the peace follow the peace for the lord says surely i am directing your steps into that place follow the peace says the lord and i will lead you where i want you to go the lord spoke to me that he's revealing himself and his character and his nature as jehovah jireh for you that's his your provider and in that provision you're going to find a rest a comfort and a peace and a security that you've not known before and God says, this is a day of stabilization. This is the day to where your feet are going to become steadfast. This is a time of planting. No tumbleweed in the wilderness, but a time of planting for the purpose of maturity. For I'm going to take your roots and they're going to go down deep. And they're going to draw forth life, life everlasting on the inside. And there are many that are going to be drawn to that stability. Many will look to uh, even the the Esther anointing that is upon you. They're going to look to that. They're going to see a, a, a royalty about you, and it's going to be attractive, and it's going to draw magnetically. It's also, you're also in a season where there's a need to, as it attracts magnetically those relationships that are necessary for mentoring, for, for uh, co-laboring, for uh, all healthy purposes, there is also, just like a magnet has a reverse side of repelling. There's going to be relationships that were not good, that are not healthy, that need to be distanced from for this season, because this is a time for you to grow independently without distractions. And the Lord also says, for those who go through the narrow gate and walk the constricted way, says the Lord, fewer and fewer can walk that road the closer you draw to the Lord. So the Lord says to walk with those who are going the same way that you are going. Amen. 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 And there's a word of the Lord for someone watching by Ustream that basically they're to run toward God. They're getting all confused. Uh, even uh, they just recently put something on Facebook, I'm in a relationship. Take the relationship to God. Run toward God. If that person can keep up with you, it's a God relationship. If they fall by the wayside because of your pursuit to God, it wasn't meant to be. Attraction can come through lust, and attraction can come by the cords of love that God brings forth. And you have to know the difference in the days ahead. There's someone watching by Ustream right now that's uh, being cured of incurable cancer, and you've been diagnosed at fourth stage. And someone's watching this, and they're basically saying that uh, I, don't, I can't explain it, but I have a hope in God that goes beyond reason. And God's saying, that is my presence, that is my assurance. Lay hold of that, embrace it, because 
that is the power and the anointing of healing behind the veil where you're anchored to me. So the word of the Lord is stay anchored in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Uh, one, one other thing, I'm seeing somebody with macular degeneration in your eyes, and the Lord is healing it right now. Receive your healing. Amen.